Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we are going to take a look at this little Eosheen Cinefun Crazy Bee. This thing is like 55 grams in weight and it's super powerful. Let me show it to you. Here it is. Do you see it? Do you see it? It's right there. It's pretty darn small. This tiny little thing. So this is a whoop and uh, yes, beginners would love it. What's really cool about it is that it has a 4K camera in it. You can get it with 4K or 1080p. Let me just show you. It's, I've got it on right here. I can fly it. So let's just hover it right in front of me so I don't whack myself in the face. He'll bring it close to my face. But anyways, there it is. You see it? And there. I threw it in front. So this here Tiny Whoop is designed for people that like to fly indoors due to COVID and they're stuck indoors. So you want to fly around your house. It's perfect for it because it uses these little 1S batteries. And the interesting thing about these batteries, let me bring one close. Check out the end on that battery. That's an XT30. So with having the XT30 connector on the end on a 1S battery, which I've never seen before, it just allows for thicker wires and it means more voltage while more current can go into the motors when needed. Now, when I saw that, I was like, oh, this thing is just going to be like a speed demon. Trust me when I say, where is my drone? Trust me when I say, this is not a speed demon. It's fast for a beginner, but for somebody like me, it's not super fast. I thought it would be faster, but at the same time, it's very controllable. Like here, let me just plug it in again and just show you. Well, here, let me just, maybe I've got an old battery there. No, I'm going to put a new battery in this thing. And uh, let me just show you once again, plug it in. As soon as you plug it in with a battery, the camera starts, thank you. The camera starts recording and it records in 4k on mine. So it's recording 4k right now. And uh, this is what I'll show you. It's like, it's so, you saw at the beginning, it's so manageable. I've got it going again. I could fly it here. I just hover it all inches off my little ground here. You know, I've got the wind currents and speeds and everything uh, messing it up, but it's right there. The higher I go, the more I can control it because then it doesn't get the wind off the table. But it's, it's not a speed demon. Look at left, right, left, right. I could, I'm moving the joysticks quite a bit. So, very easy for a beginner to fly, that's for sure. And you can do these things up, which is up in the air, kill the little arm switch and you catch it. So in summary, not a speed demon, but you can do flips and rolls and all the other good stuff. It's That's probably why it's really designed for beginners. It's slow, it's not gonna get you into any trouble. How strong is it, you're wondering? Let me just tell you this. I have crashed this in the snow outside Many times I brought it in and dried it and I thought, that's it, it's dead. No, it keeps on working. I have crashed it into the walls in here. I am not worried about smashing it into anything because it just keeps on working. I did have a problem once where one of the motors in the front would not arm after crashing it many times. And uh, I thought, that's it. I've, I've damaged something in the ESC. But uh, I don't know, maybe I had dirt in it or whatever. I spun it a few times and then I kept on trying to arm it put a new battery in and then it started working again. So I have no idea. All I can say is it, it, it seems to last. So this version I have here is the version with the 4K camera. So it's got the Cat X Loris in it, 4K. So you put a micro SD card in the side. I've got a 16 gig uh, U3 micro SD card that I stuck in the side to record everything. And like I said, every time I plug in the battery, it just starts recording. It's that simple. If you want to change the settings on the camera, you can. It's not a problem. They do give you the cable to connect to the camera to change the settings if you wish to do that. If you want to save some money, you can get it in a 1080p version, vice a 4K version. I will tell you this. If you get the 4K version and you record with 4K and you change the VTX, the video transmission system, to 200 milliwatts, which is super powerful. That's so you can fly super, super far. Um, it sucks more power. So when I did that and I was flying outside and around the house, I was getting maybe three minutes flight time. If I reduced the power to 25 milliwatts and maybe I didn't have the 4K running, then I could probably get more flight time. And if you're wondering what the range is on this drone, the range is dependent on the receiver you stick inside plus the radio you own. This is a T-Lite radio. It's got a range of about maybe a mile. So I have an XM Plus receiver inside. The antenna, can you see it on here? There's not much of an antenna, so I'm not gonna get one mile. Not at all. But if you order this and get a crossfire stuck in it and you have a radio with a crossfire, then you have a big antenna sticking off the end so that you can actually get a range and then you should be able to get a mile or even more. But honestly, this thing is so small. Why in the heck would you fly it a mile? Anyways, what I'm going to show you now is the footage of me flying around in the house and outdoors. Check this out. All right, let's take this baby for a flight. First thing we do is add the battery. 
Next thing is power on our radio. Welcome to OpenTX. Finally, just connect the battery. There we go. It is all ready to go. All right, our tiny whoop is down there. Hit the arm switch and uh, take it on up. And let's fly it around the house. Hopefully you can see it on my camera on the top of my head. I just want to show you how easy it is to fly. Go through the house. I'm actually flying fast because I'm trying to speed up this video, but this drone to me is super simple to fly. There we did. We did uh, one uh, loop and let's bring it down nice right in front of the camera. Boink! Oh, under the camera. All right, there we are. All done. Now let's fly it with our FPV goggles. All right, the next thing to do is to take this, fly around my house with goggles on, and uh, I'm going to fly outside my door right there. I have a patio door. I'm going to open it up and uh, fly this out and then fly it in the backyard and then try to get it back indoors. Here we go. Let's open up this patio door. It's kind of cold out there. Ooh, winter. All right, the drone is right in front of me. Let's arm it. Come on, let's bring it back. There I am right there. Let's go around, slowly here, around me, out the door. Right. Looking rather cold out there today. Looks pretty good out here. Let's go uh, check out my roof. There we go, lots of snow up there. Come down this way. Whoa, that's too fast. <laughs> Let's go see if I can go on the side of my house. Still have video reception. Oh, starting to flicker a little bit. No, still good. No problem on the side. That's all good there. Let's turn around. Car over there. If we go out on the street a little bit. Looks good this way. Look down this way and look back this way. And there's a car coming. All right, let's go back to the house. Don't want to get too far. A little windy out here. Let's go back. Now we have to find the hole to get back in. So let's, uh, there's the tree. So let's go straight this way. Oh, it's starting to get a little... <laughs> Close enough. All right, next thing I want to show you is what comes in the box. You get some good stuff in the box, so check this out. Here we go with the unboxing. Here's the box, and if I open up the box, this is what it looks like inside. You can see the four batteries, the drone, and all the accessories. The one cell batteries are 650 milliamps and do include XT30 connectors. And to charge up those one cell batteries, a USB charger is included. In the included goodie bag, you get some items like uh, spare props, a charging cable, a prop removal tool, and to modify the settings on your 4K camera, you get an OSD menu board. Instruction manual is included that explains how to bind your receiver to your transmitter and use Betaflight. Some of the features of the drone are an F4 flight controller with 5 amp ESCs. Mine has the CADEX LoRa system which can film at 4K to a micro SD card. The brushless motors are the popular 1102s at 19,000 kV. The onboard VTX shoots out anywhere from 25 milliwatts for indoors to 200 milliwatts for outdoors. All right, so my final thoughts on this here, baby. I'm trying not to hit the microphone up in the air. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just breaking this thing. But that's just it, it's so strong. So my final thoughts on this, baby, is that if you're somebody who needs a drone to fly indoors, well, then this is a great drone to fly indoors. When I first saw it as a tiny whoop, I thought uh, it's got the prop guards that are plastic stuff and that's all gonna crack and break, but I haven't broken mine yet. And it doesn't really matter because if you do break you know, the exterior, you can probably replace it. I didn't check online if they have other ones or you just glue it back together or you take some scissors and you just cut it off where you broke it because you really don't need it. You don't need the prop guards, but either case, it's not bad. And if you just want to fly around your house, it's pretty decent. If you're learning how to fly, it's pretty good. I would say if you're a pro, this is not a drone for outdoors because it won't fly fast enough for you. But if you're a pro and you're doing indoor racing, then you'll probably love this because it's so easy to fly. And having four batteries with XT30 connectors is, it's like so awesome. And this thing just, it just works out of the box. It's like so simple, just connect everything. Let me see, I'm just connecting a battery here. It's gonna boot up. 
and she's thank you and it's all ready to go now i will mention that mine is an fr sky and to connect to the fr sky it's a d8 protocol not d16 i did mine through betaflight which was really really simple it's very easy to connect bind your radio to it the instructions that come in the box to tell you how to bind it's all right there see even with me smashing this throwing this against the ground and everything it still wants to fly so like I say, the thing is like really good, durable, and a lot of fun to use. And it keeps on recording in 4K every time you start flying. So, hey, can I let go of the joysticks here? Let me try this. All right, there, I got no. Come on back to me, come on back. I was trying to fly with no joysticks, but no. I caught it though, I got it back. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Links to this product are below the video. Check it out and uh, have yourself a really good day. Boink. 30 seconds. Oh, I had 30 seconds left on flight time. All right, guys, catch you in the next video. Bye.